So our next final of the day is a men's singles and it features the qualifier, Kusumasa Sakai of Japan up against Shrikant Skadambi of India. After that, we'll have women's singles and seven years after she was last in a Super Series tournament final, the left-handed Sayaka Sato will contest a final once again. She's up against the number five seed, Sung Ji Hyung. Their men's doubles are not only the title at stake, but the world number one ranking at stake as well. The winner of the men's doubles will go to number one. Of course, Bo and Mogensen are already number one on the world ranking, but Lee Chun Hui and Li Yu Chen have a chance to regain that number one spot. Then we finish with mixed doubles and, of course, the home interest with the Olympic champions, Tantoi Ahmad and Liliana Nasir. Well, as uh, far as the Super Series standings are concerned in the men's singles, Chao Tian Chen of Chinese Taipei, by virtue of his quarterfinal here, will remain number one. Shrikant Kadambi is currently at number 14 on the ranking. Should he win today, he could shoot up to number two on the ranking. Victor Axelson and Lee Chong Wei will definitely swap positions, but whether it'll be two or three depends on whether Shrikant Kadambi wins today's final. If he doesn't win today, Today's final, he'll only go to number five. So there's going to be plenty of movement on that destination Dubai ranking after this tournament. Well, as far as the draw is concerned, by quarterfinal stage, we only had three seeds left. Uh, we had one qualifier and one player promoted from the qualifying. Six different nations involved in that qualifier and the one promoted from the qualifying both got through to the semi-final in the top half of the draw, as you can see. Should be mentioned that for the second Super Series running, two players from India in the semi-final stage, of course, in Singapore, they both got through to the final. But here in Jakarta, it is the qualifier, Sakai against Kadambi of India. Well, I think we can really disregard those world rankings because neither of them are realistic indicators of the players' capabilities. Shrikant Gadami has been as high as number three in the world ranking. And this, his second final in two consecutive Super Series tournaments. Beaten in the final by teammate Sai Pranith in Singapore prior to this Indonesian Open. Well, Kasuma Sakai is trying to become only the third player in history to come through the qualifying event and win a men's singles Super Series title. He's only the third player from Japan ever to contest a Super Series men's singles final. And the other two players, of course, were Kanichi Tago and Kento Momota, who both reached a final here at the Indonesian Open. Of course, Momota won the title here two years ago, beating Jorgensen in the final. Targo had been in the final the year prior to that, 2014, when he lost to Jorgensen in the final. So our umpire for this one, Iris Netspelu of Estonia. And two unseeded players in the final. And that's the second consecutive Super Series tournament that's happened because when Shrikans Gadambe played against Sai Pranith in Singapore, the last of the Super Series events, that was the same scenario. Now, he's gone up two places in the world ranking this week to 47. He's going to shoot up again after this week and quite possibly go to a career high. And as far as he's concerned, well, he's only been in Indonesia once previously. That was four years ago. He came through the qualifying once again and lost in the last 16 to another Indian player, Guru Saidat. But in the first round four years ago, he beat Janor Jorgensen. So that's an indication of how good he is. But 
he, of course, has had to play two extra matches. In the very first round of the qualifying, it was against Sonny Dui Kunchuro, the 2008 winner of this event. Then he played qualifiers in the first round and the second round in the second round against Emil Holst, who had put out the number three seed, Victor Axelsson, in the very first round. Then the European champion, Rajiv Usif, in the quarterfinal. Three games needed there, as indeed a thrilling semi-final against the man promoted from the qualifying, Pranoy of India. He had to save five match points in that second game before coming through in an hour and 17 minutes. It really was a tremendous semi-final. So to Shrikanth Kadambi, he's 24 years of age and he's gone down in the world ranking this week, down eight places to 22. But as I was telling you, he has been as high as three, 11 weeks at number three. Now this is his third appearance here at the Indonesian Open and his third consecutive appearance. But prior to this year, he had not been beyond uh, the second round. Well, his matches, uh, all but one has gone the full distance. And uh, the second round match was against the 2014 winner and number four seed, the man, Jorgensen, who'd been in three consecutive finals here over the last three years. Quarterfinal against uh, Wang Su Wei, Ready the play. man who had beaten Lin Dan in the very first round. And in the semi-final, he beat the world number one, having to save a match point at 19.20 down. So both these players through to the final, having saved at least one match point in their semi-finals. And this is the first meeting between the two players. And for Shrikanth Kadambe, although he has been in Super Series tournaments before, this is in fact his fourth Super Series tournament final. As we look at our court officials, it's his first Premier Ladies Super Series final since winning the China Open of 2014. Japan. And on my left, Kidambi Shrikan, India. Kidambi Shrikan to serve. Level. Play. So, Shrikan to Kidambi. First player silver, from one, his country love. to contest a men's singles final here at the Indonesian Open. Two other players have contested semi-finals prior to this year, but of course we've had two Indian players contest semi-finals this year. But prior to this year, Pulela Gopichan was in the semi-final in 2001, one, and Kasha Parupali who's fighting his way back from injury at the moment, has twice been a semi-finalist, 2012 and 2015. Can't help but wonder, Thostein, with this man, Sakai, having to contest two, two extra matches one. on his way through to the final. And he's been on court for an hour and 12 minutes longer than his opponent in getting through to today's final, whether that might eventually catch up with him today. It's over. Two, four. I think um, Two. I, I don't think it's going to be that significant um, because uh, Srikanth is, is um, not known to play um, long grueling matches with long rallies and so on and, and Japanese players are, are known to be in very very good physical shape yeah. plus the excitement of being in the final for Sakai uh, Three, four. I, I think he's ready to go 
Yes, and he'll, uh, he'll be running on adrenaline, quite frankly. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's been 27 months since he was last in a final when he won the Portuguese International of 2015. But tomorrow might be a different case. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's an interesting point. Is Four, he three. scheduled to play in Sydney in Australia? Because the qualifying, he's going to take uh, all his time to get there. Will he actually arrive if he's due to play the qualifying Four. in Australia? Will he arrive in time? Five, yeah, that's a very three. good question because <clears throat> the only direct flight is eight o'clock tonight and then I don't suppose he can no. reach that. No, check-in's already started. Paul? It's over. Paul? Five. It's actually scheduled to play a qualifying match on Tuesday. And do you know he's playing? He's scheduled to play? No, go on. HS Pernoy. Five, That's incredible, six. isn't it? But and he beat in yesterday's semi-final. But we know that Pernoy is going to be promoted once again into the tournament because uh, Victor Axelsen has stated that he's flown home to Denmark. So as the first on the uh, waiting list to get into the main draw, Pernoy will be promoted. Five. We don't know which spot he'll be yeah. taking in the main draw, but... Oh, that's sweet. Of course, he, he's, he's definitely a surprise entry into the final Kasumasa Sakai. But if you look at, at some of uh, the players he's beat, then he's really caused trouble for, for top players, um, amongst others, beaten to Axelsen uh, in Hong Kong Open. So he can play at a... Um, he's shown that he can, he can challenge at a high level. It's just the consistency that has been uh, lacking, so to speak. Yeah, I think he's actually beaten Jorgensen three times as well. Yeah. Yeah, at the all in. Yeah. It's over. Where again he came through the qualifying. And eventually lost Nine, in the quarter final. Six. Yeah, I was a little bit surprised also that Shrikant was had fallen as low as 22 on the world ranking, but then I checked between the All England Open and, and the Olympics, he played seven tournaments and only once managed oh. to clear the first round. Yeah. So that's, of course, going to damage your world ranking. And he still hasn't got his so optimum over. number of 10 seven. tournaments. Yeah. Judgment. Three point advantage for Shrikanth Karambi here at the mid game interval in the opening game.
Well, only two players in history have ever come through the qualifying and Super Series events and won the men's singles title. And they're both Indonesian players, and it both happened on at the Singapore Open. 2014, Simon Santoso. And last year's Singapore Open, Sonny Dwi Kunchoro. In fact, it's only the sixth time in total and that uh, players come from the qualifying or being promoted from the qualifying to contest a men's singles Super Series tournament Play. final. And it's not Play. that usual to have two players Eight. who are both unseeded. It's only the 12th time in Super Series history, and this is the 134th Super Series tournament. It has been a tournament that's been full of surprises um, in all categories, so to speak. Uh, we will see the doubles categories Eight. where we have uh, some of the seats playing each other, but there's been a number of surprises throughout the tournament. But in men's singles, uh, it's been totally uh, filled with big, big surprises. Then Dan lost first round. Victor Axels in first round, Lee Chung Wei second round. I mean, if you would have guessed before the tournament that Silver. Sakai here coming from the qualifiers were, were mm. going to the final, Nine, that 13. would have been totally amazing. Yeah. And the conditions have been a big part of the surprises. Yeah, it has. It, it's been tricky, tricky conditions with drift and so on. And, in, I guess in that manner of speaking, it's not a big surprise that Shrikhand is here because he was also in the final of Singapore Open, mm. which is a very Sakai windy uh, stadium out. as well, but, but very consistent. In so terms of good. First challenge of this men's singles final. Uh, Sakai is standing at the player box, but Shrikhand is as the call that. Yeah, good call, line judge. Shrikan very wisely went to the coach's chairs. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remains. Service over. 14, 9, play. I think we have a bit of a problem with the umpire's microphone. Seems to be coming and going. by Shrikant, he was there, had it come over the net, he would have been ready to punish Sakai anyway. Attacking player, the the smash wasn't that hard, but he was focusing on uh, balance and speed forward. A number of players would not have tried to punish uh, 
that drop shot from Sakai. 19, 9. Silver. Ten, nineteen. Eleven, nineteen. Oh, lucky neck or there, for which he immediately apologizes. That was an unreturnable shot. Game point eleven. Game point opportunities. There's another net court. And a very comfortable opening game for Shrikant Kidambi. 21-11 in a little over 13 minutes. What do you do against that? Very difficult. a logical um, development if you look at um, the road to, um, to the final uh, of course a very good win yesterday by uh, Sakai beating Krenoi we suspected there that there might be some uh, mental fatigue after Krenoi had beaten Li Chung Wei and, and Chen Long in two very very good matches uh, not, not to take any credit away from Sakai at all uh, but, but um, Shrikan has also uh, had a, a tough way to the final and, and play, uh, played strong players. Janu Jorgensen, the former winner here. Uh, and Su Wei Wang. Su Wei Wang. Why do I mention him? Because he beat Lin Dan. Yeah. He has a fantastic net game and yeah. attacking style that suits this whole uh, Shrikant one convincingly. Mm. And then he beat the world number one yesterday. Yeah. So on paper, on the world rankings, he should be the favorite to win this time. They both game. had to struggle hard yesterday, so the level of uh, mental um, exhaustion Play. should be pretty much the same. Yeah, but good point. Nothing's given, so let's see if Sakai he can um, bounce back oh. here. We've seen him do it a number of times in the tournament. That is over. One, long. It's amazing that Sakai is a qualifier and he's played two other qualifiers on the way to the final. So he's pl played four qualifiers? Yeah, well, uh, no, in fact, five, because he played against Pranoy, who was promoted yeah, from the qualifying. Five and qualifiers and the European champion. And the European champion, so no seeds. No. So you make a good point, because Shrikan's beating uh, the current world number one as well in the semi-final. I mean, he's had a, a tough road. He's had a tough road, and, and uh, it's the, two, the two Indian players one. that have beaten the big guns. Yes. Together with the uh, Tuwe Wang beating yeah. um, Lin, Dan. Lin Dan. And, and um, we talked about in the in the opening that um, uh, Kashap had uh, been in the final here earlier on. Um, oh. Semi-final. Semi-final, sorry. 
and, and it just makes me think that right now I feel that India has the biggest depth of any country in men's singles. They have uh, top Two, players, they're winning four. tournaments. Pranoy is ranked as fifth. They have Kashyap, they have Samir Verma, Surab Verma, Cyril Verma, and probably a, a few more that yeah. we're not aware of. Uh, Sai Praneeth, Guru Sai, that coming Guru back Sai from it. Yeah. So, fantastic depth they have. Yeah. Three, two. length on that lift. Yeah, and a good start. Four, or Sakai. Two. I think he really needed that to be able to believe. Wasn't selected for the Sudirman Cup team, for the Japanese Sudirman Cup team. No. Neither was Takuma Ueda, who... Wasn't he the Thomas Cup hero in Japan? That's right. That's right. But uh, the other big surprise, and I'm guessing he must be injured, is uh, Kanta Tsunayama. Yeah. It's over. Yep. Three, four. see some mistakes at the net because both players are going to go for control over the net. It's going to be absolutely crucial to be able to get the lifts. Very short. Mm. One from um, Six, three. Sideways drift is almost eliminated. Yeah. Good night shot. Oh my goodness, how did he get that back? What a rally! Oh, it's a super smash straight down the line from Shrikant. I thought Shrikant went off the boil in the second game Nine, of his semi-final four. against Son Wan Ho yesterday. Yeah, he did. He 
it was exactly the same situation. He was playing well on this near yeah. side of the court and then uh, someone Holt taking over. And most of all, he was playing a bit too short. And a little bit too passive. And that, that's the danger of playing the far side of the court, knowing that you, if silver. the drift is as it has been Five, nine. Uh, previously in the week, that you can hit the baseline a little bit uh, better then you simply play a little bit too um, too patient. Yeah, that's good judgment, just wide. Six, nine. There's the angle again. It's not full power, is no, it, Steen? No. He's following up well, Shrikanth. Ah, that's a wonderful backhand clear there from Sakai. Over. Ten. Six. on that and a five-point advantage for Kusumata Sakai here in the second game yeah hardly had time to get back to his base position Kidambi look at that wonderful anticipation from Sakai super play Excellent. Thirty silver. Seven. Eleven. Oh, well taken. My goodness me, he's beginning to really try and dominate the net, isn't he? It's over. 12, 7. Look at he's ready to pounce. Yeah. Look at that commitment. Oh, yes. Suddenly, just changes up the angle. Nine, twelve. Can't help thinking about Shrikant yesterday. He, he was just a, a Hawkeye call from being out of the tournament. Yes. Yeah. The linesman got it right in the, in the first place, so. Mm. But uh, someone who challenged and uh, was unsuccessful. Ten, Otherwise, twelve. he would have been out. Well, what about the five match points that Pranoy had and yeah. uh, were well saved by Sakai?
11, 13. Forehand side. Yeah, but there's no side like drift. A, there's no, no side drift. Yeah, that's my point because he thought it was going to be taken out by the drift, but you're right, there is no drift anymore. of the nine points since the mid-game interval going to Shrikhand. Oh, that's nice. Sure. And he's much more uh, offensive in his uh, mind now. 40, Realised that if he doesn't put pressure on Sakai, then he's going to be under pressure himself. Yeah. Japanese player very light-footed, but that goes mostly for all the Japanese players. I don't know. It must be a selection criteria. <laughs> You've got to be moving well. Oh. Yeah, clever. Get to cool head. of badminton 14 it's it's of course very nice that there's no side drift today but but for the tournament as as a whole it, it's it's not really that good because it's disturbing oh. for the players to to have to adapt to new playing conditions 15. on yeah. finals 14. day it should be if possible at all the same throughout the week and that's why it's it's not um, allowed to, to change the direction of the court anymore. So yeah. A number of years ago, um, the layout was changed for either the semi-final or the final women. They wanted to give the audience a better view and so on. That's yeah. not allowed anymore. No. Now it's over. 15 all. Of course, people say it's the same for everybody, but it's not. It's always benefiting one player and, and disadvantaging mm. another player, and it would have yeah. been two totally different players had this been the condition throughout the tournament. Then we might have had two t totally different players in the final. Yeah, I agree. And it's over. 16, 15. Judgment. Wow. Seventeen, fifteen. Well, oh, Shrikans wanted the shuttle change. Saka said, "No, I'm happy with this one."
that'll be silver. 16, 17, wait. As quick as Sakai is, he's struggling to cope with the attacking play of Shrikant. The angles he's able to produce. the lifts are important here because you don't want to give more height away than absolutely necessary on the other hand you don't want the opponent to be able to intercept and jump into um, the shot oh, it's a challenge here fall in. Uh, that's, that's i thought it was in what did you think i actually thought it was out but um one of those that are, are, are really difficult to judge. Yeah, here we go. What does Hawkeye say? There was in. Yeah. Well done, line judge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. So it's over. 18 all. Situations where Shrikan perhaps senses that Sakai is Service really over. quick back on his feet. 19, and it's got to be well placed, 18, and then he overdoes 19. it a little bit. Sakai. second game 19 all. who's going to have either the game point or the match point Play. Good spot. Oh. well he earned his luck there trick and skidambi the net courts deflecting the shuttle thank you Shakai. But he was waiting for it, wasn't he? Yeah, and he's looking for the chances in, in that area of the court. Thank you. So a match point opportunity for Shrikant Kidambi. 20, match point 19. of his victory. Well, that's absolutely brilliant. Shrikant Kidambi, who struggled with injury at the beginning of the year, has bounced back, reaching the final of the Singapore Shrikan Super Kidambi. Series, 21, and now 11, 21, winning 19. his second Premier Super Series title.
after winning China of 2014, becomes the first player from India to win the men's singles crown here at the Indonesia Open. But spare a thought for the qualifier, Kasuma Sakai, for him to come through the qualifying and become only the sixth player in history to have come from qualifying or promoted from the qualifying to contest a Super Series men's singles final is remarkable in itself. But Shrikanth Kadabi adds the Indonesian Open title to his two other Super Series. There's how he did it, 21-11, 21-19. Kidabi, congratulations. Okay, so my uh, very first question is so simple. What is your hardest part to beat Kazumasa Sakai, your recent opponent? I think uh, his uh, started second game really well. You know, he was having the lead of uh, uh, the mid-game interval. I think uh, to cover that after 13 points, I think to make it 13 all at that moment was the turning point for me, I feel. Okay, yeah. Itu dia, silakan applause lagi untuk Kidabi Srikan. And now, as the winner, what would you say to your coach, Mu Yohandoyo? Uh, I think uh, he'll definitely have a special place in my heart for sure from now because, you know, after he came, I think, uh, you know, I played the Singapore final and then, you know, the next Super Series, I won it uh, here and... I know Indonesia, I think, uh, which is actually the best sporting nation of badminton. I think uh, you know, I, I really feel very happy to win here at the Indonesia, you know, because it's, it's like one of the you know, biggest tournaments here. And uh, I know thank you to all the fans, you know, for making it really so wonderful for cheering me out throughout the tournament. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much. Congratulations once again. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. The winners for men's single final. From Japan, as the runner-up, please welcome Kazumasa Sakai. And also, the winner, Matt Tingle, Open 2017, from India, Kidambi Srika. I'd like to ask, please welcome Mr. Paul Eric Hoyer as president of BWF to hand over the medal to the winners. So Paul Eric Hoyer Larson, president of the BWF, presents the medals to both players and I'm sure Kazuma Sa Sakai will be disappointed right now, but he will look back on this week with enormous pride. Never previously beyond a quarter-final. Beaten in the final today the by Shrikans Kadambi. A third welcome. Super Series Mr. title Arman for Shrikans. Well, the first Super Series title for over two years for Shrikanth Kadambi since winning his home event 
in 2015. And to hand over the trophy, please welcome from MetLife, Mr. Sean Levine, as Head of Government Relations, Southeast Asia. And to hand over the gift from Blibli.com, which is a watch and a, a speaker from Polytron. Please welcome Bapak Hamid Awaludin, Selaku Dewan Penasihat Panpel. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause for the winners for men's single final BCA Indonesia Open 2017.
so the players already on court for